However we didn't get to so much since our energy powerhouse was directive us to wash our energetic homes instead of creating forays into new potentials. It's like being told you can't go outside till you do your prep. The entire year has been that way however currently we're within the home stretch. These final months of 2019 are literally the start of the new energy we've been waiting all year to figure with. And currently we are able to because we've done the foundational work to prepare us for access into new potentials. But before you think that it's planning to take 9 months for us to hide lost ground or build any progress, it won't. I believe we're planning to blast through these next few months at sea. That said, don't expect to gloss over any lessons or learning either, everything points to energetic congruity currently, the work and flow of divine harmony. If it doesn't work or flow it's not planning to work. While it's tempting to require to go away the painful past behind and begin one thing new, we all know that as much as we might want to try and do that, we are a unit continuously directed to wash up our previous energy things before we begin examining new potentials. We are able to not hide from our own truth, ignore our fears and doubts, foe that everything is okay once we comprehend it isn't, and dim our lights to form others happy. Energies of various frequencies aren't compatible and can't coexist in our energy field. Currently that we're shifting between dimensions, from 3 to 5D, in our in-progress ascension integration, those energies are even less compatible with one another. And that we got to have a stronger energetic focus too, with fewer leaks, distractions, and dramas and traumas that take us off of our path. And if you're not feeling the enjoyment at once, don't worry. Typically we've to have an occasion down before we are able to break through, we'd like to grasp where within the dark before we can figure out it's time to show the sunshine on. And we got to get tired of the pain before we get on my feet and ask for healing. Now, over ever, the past and the gift don't resonate in harmony, particularly once you're making an attempt to form a satisfying, congruent, high vibe, 5D, integrated gift and you're making an attempt to try and do it in an exceedingly 3D density reality while not dynamic or something. This is an integration, not a takeover however it's an integration of 5D energy into our 3D realities and it's unrelentingly pushing us forward into our energetic sovereignty and divine being, verity merging and mixing of spiritual and material, human and divine. Welcome to the sunshine age. But before we from the function glory of our accomplishments, we've some additional work to do. On the astrological level we are in Libra season currently, whose glyph is that the scales. Libra rules balance, justice, equality, and open enemies. This is often balanced giving and receiving, the karmic cycles of reaping what's seeded, justice and not revenge, equality that needs the acknowledgement of energetic sovereignty. All we are able to do is balance the equations in our own lives and permit everybody to find their own energetic balance purpose. We are making ready for the ultimate Mercury retrograde in 2019, that begins its shadow on October 12th and goes full retro on October 31. It stations on the same degree of the long Saturn retro in Scorpio of June to August of 2015. Simply a heads up to listen to what arises from that amount. The October full moon of the 13th is at 20 Aries, precisely square Pluto, an important energetic marker and this is often planning to be a very robust full moon so be careful for a lot of emotional energy flare-ups, particularly those of you who are empaths and sensitive to others' energy. The new phase of the moon of the 28th at 4 Virgo is giving Uranus a big nudge. So expect huge energy downloads, understandings, insights, and new awareness of your potential and prospects as we alter for the house stretch, straight into the historic Saturn, Pluto conjunction that's active from currently through March 2020, once Saturn moves into Aquarius. What will this mean? Considering the previous Saturn, Pluto conjunction in 1516 resulted within the protest of the corruption within the Catholic Church, 
the most powerful entity within the world at the time, and this marked the start of its downfall, likewise because the downfall of the monarchies in several components of the globe, it's quite a powerful symbol for world transformation at each level. This impacts all folks, one by one and collectively. We area unit all the part of the good arousal and everyone and all us plays a task within the ascension cycle for ourselves and for the globe. True transformation happens once we area unit willing to expand our awareness, embrace our power, ignite our intuition, and lie from our brightest light. The call is being created for us to unite, to be our lightweight, and to face along and hold the sunshine of truth, peace, joy, love, compassion, and understanding. Those who have found the sunshine are the dawn for those who are still within the dark. Have a wonderful month.